look to the left of the screen here and see what he does. And there's a big chunk of my grass gone. Wait, once wasn't enough? Let's go back again. Oops, <laughs> wrong spot, my bad. Let me, let me turn it over here. Okay, here we go. So we finally got the stump removed. I am so, so happy about that. They ground it down. But of course, we can't only have good news. They damaged the grass a lot. And you know I care about my grass. And they really, honestly, I'm a little disappointed in this whole situation. But let me show you exactly what happened. So just looking on right now, you can see some of the holes that happened here where their machine just was digging it out, digging out the grass, whether it be their machine being, you know, heavy and it was kind of like dragging across the ground and just ripping the grass. One time when they were actually grinding it, they actually left it on when they moved it over and just literally ground out the grass, ripping it all out. I mean, honestly, it's, yeah, really, really disappointing. I've got like holes and damage all throughout my grass now. Like, look at this. It just, they just like ripped at it. And all of this is just like ripped out. All this over here, just ripped out over here. Big chunks of grass over here ripped out. Over here, the exact same thing. They just ripped it out. And you can always see the grass dying here where it was just ripped. I mean, look at this. You have an entire, like, two feet area, more than that, actually, I think, where I had grass. From here to here, I had grass completely. And now it is just ripped out, completely ripped out. So now, right when it's starting to get super hot, damage to the grass, be more difficult than it was with the spring. So I'm going to give the grass a really nice watering um, early in the morning to try to help it a little bit, revive it out. And now my next job is to take, i got a lot of good wood chips and everything in there. So I'm going to take a lot of that. I'm going to bag it from the garden and then try to level this out, go by sod and put it all down here and make it really pretty. Um, and then I am going to actually, if you want to check out one of my other videos where I took a bunch of runners, a uh, thing I was seeing grass runners that I cut and I rooted them and I actually planted them. And so that's what I'm going to do here for all these bears possibly messed up. Let me actually go show you something really quick. So right here, actually in my backyard where my blackberry plants are and my peach tree, I've got some runners here that I went ahead and cut and put in water so they can st uh, slowly start rooting and what i'll do here is i'll take those when they get nice long white roots there and i will plant them in the front yard to cover some of those bare spots i like cheap and free options the best best i can um, so i think that's a great option you could obviously buy plugs if you wanted to you can cut out some of the area where it was damaged there and you can even um the sod down but why do any of that if you can do the nice free method and just take your runners and plant them in the ground take a little bit of time and the hotter it gets the less likely that it will do well but we're going to keep it nice and watered if they get nice roots if you put the runners in water like that first you definitely have a lot higher success rate okay so we need to level all this out the best we can it is going to be kind of hard over here. We have our established grass trying to get under there because, you know, everything kind of gradually sloped up where the tree was. But I am very excited about all this mulch. There's a lot of it they took back with them, but we still do have a lot of the mulch. So we're going to take a bunch of this up, put in a wheelbarrow, or we'll use this for the garden. Absolutely gold for the garden. So what I'm going to do now, if you see, I'm going to be digging under of my layer of grass right around the edges. And even though it's established grass, I'm going to be taking my knife and digging under it, hoping that I don't get where the roots are, and try to just scrape some of that dirt out from underneath it to try to force it down lower to level it out some. Definitely tedious, but if you want to make it look perfect to where there was not a tree there, what you gotta do.
Okay. I think we actually have it pretty level, the best we're going to do. Yeah, it actually looks pretty good. So it was more right over here and right over here that need to be level. I think this area here probably, I think it's fine. When we put the new side down, we'll be able to tell more if we need to level it better, and then we can do it at that time. By the way, my favorite sod place increased prices a dollar fifty to two dollars for a piece of sod. Very disappointing. Okay, see that's not level at all. All right. So I had the ground level itself, but it is hard to determine exactly um, how tall the sod is going to be or what it's going to look like once you put the sod there. So you always have to work it a little bit extra. Uh, and then I got naked. <laughs> now at this point, I had little spots here where I had to cut and try to make the pieces of sod work because again, we are working with a circle here. It doesn't fit perfectly, sadly. But all in all, it definitely is looking very, very good. And at this point here, it looks honestly perfect. Sometimes Tetris doesn't work. Forced Tetris. <clears throat> Quick note, I'm adding dirt around the edges to ensure the side or the edges of the sod do not dry out where it does not perfectly meet the native grass. Oh, not too bad. We are done. Sorry, first, I know you don't want to talk to a naked guy. Wrong channel. <laughs> All right. So, took a little bit of time, not too bad. Got sweat, uh, hot and sweat sweaty because it's really muggy out today but that wasn't bad at all it can be a little more daunting at first but it really isn't that bad at all and if you've been watching my channel for a little bit you know how much i wanted this tree gone and then after how much i wanted this stump gone because it took forever for them to finally come and grind it but it is finally gone look how much more open the yard is i know you're not angled to see the whole thing but you see a decent amount now, if you have been here for a while, or if you've seen one of my old videos, you know, before, I actually had a little a little garden bed right in the front there with flowers and things. And here was this big tree, and now it's so much more open, just green everywhere. Now, some people might want to keep the tree or the flower bed, but me personally, I have a lot going on in the backyard, multiple fruit trees, garden beds, a lot going on back there. So I want all of my color and my pop and my pizzazz, everything in the backyard and in the front. I just want one beautiful tree and nice, lush green lawn. And I'm, I'm getting that. It's finally getting there. This looks awesome. I'm really happy, really impressed with it. Um, to be honest, even the fact that it's a circle, I, I think I made it look pretty good altogether. Let's see how it goes throughout, uh, throughout the year. But it looks really nice. It really does. I love it that I'm just going to be able to mow up and down here without going around a tree anymore besides that one, obviously, and I really like the way it looks. Um, so now I'm going to water it in really well, but we all know what we've got to do there, so there's no reason for you to watch that again. But if you haven't yet, please smash that like button. I appreciate it. I'm sure you've already subscribed to the channel, but make sure we smash that like button real good. <laughs> I no longer have a stump to sit on. Uh-oh. <laughs> all right. Thank you again for joining me, everybody. Have a great day.